Carly. I am going to review um, just how to fix some correctional exercises to fix a forward head posture. So what I mean when I say forward head posture is just when the ear starts to creep forward and forward and forward that it moves past the shoulder. So our head is actually supposed to be, our ear should be in line with our shoulders. And as we go about our day, um, where we're sitting more often or we're on our phones um, very, very often or on computers, as we start to fatigue, typically our head and neck will start to creep forward. Um, this is something to check out your work ergonomics and make sure that your chair is at the proper height, make sure your elbows are at the proper height, your screen is at the proper height, that's the major one for the forward head position. Um, you're, be sure to check out the blog to make sure that you're in a good um, seat while you're working for eight, 10 hours a day on a, on a chair. So we start to develop these naughty habits. Also, most people spend an average of four to five hours on their cell phone. That's an average. If you're like, there's no way I don't spend four to five hours on my cell phone. Well, guess what? You're in the minority then because most people do that's the average number so what happens from our iPad cell phones apps all these things that we spend time on is uh, most people keep their phone down here and their eyes are following and so that's creating this weight of our head to continue to put pressure on our cervical spine now how you can tell if you have um, the start of a forward head position or posture is um, just checking if your ear is in line with your shoulder. So some exercises to correct that forward head posture um, is going to be chin tucks. So with the chin tuck, I'm actually just going to use the L of my hand and then I'm just actually going to push my head back and just I'm tucking my chin in. So when I do this, I'm just going to press my chin back, use my hand to guide it back and then release. And I'm going to press again and release. It feels kind of funny. But just that, repeating that exercise, maybe you do 10 reps um, and you do it every hour throughout the day. So especially if you're working on your computer, if you notice you're over your phone, then that's a really great exercise to start to correct um, the spinal, the forward head uh, position. The second exercise is going to be a back squeeze. So you can always Start by doing these, especially if you're working on your computer a bit. Just start, pull your shoulder blades up, roll them back, and drop them down. Just stretching out this way. And then actually, when you do this position, you're going to focus on taking your shoulder blade and squeezing it, dropping it into this pocket. Same thing with this other side. You're going to take this shoulder blade and pull it into this pocket. So when I do this shoulder squeeze, I'm going to roll my shoulders back, and then I'm going to pull my shoulder down to the opposite pocket. Pull the shoulder down to the opposite pocket. And you can hold that for like three to five seconds, whatever feels good, and then just repeat. So just roll your shoulder blades down and back, and then pull and squeeze opposite shoulder into the opposite pocket. One more time. Pull and squeeze. Opposite pocket, good. So just doing that exercise, maybe you do 10 reps of that every hour as well as your chin tucks and you're going to start to reverse that, that um, wear and weight of your head moving forward. You're going to start to press it back and get into back um, alignment. Lastly, this is something that you should do just to create a better habit is definitely make adjustments to your computer screen. And when you're using a Kindle or an iPad, or a cell phone, make sure you're bringing it up to eye level or you are going to actually just focus your eyes downward. So you just need to train your eyes to look downward without moving your head downward or forward and downward. So if I were to be doing something on my cell phone, um, I would either move my cell phone up to meet my eyes or I'm going to move my eyes down to beat my cell phone, but I'm going to keep my ear over my shoulder, so I'm not going to drop my head forward when I'm working on my phone. Instead, I'm actually just going to take my gaze, my eyes, and then look down. So I would do the same thing, and I'm keeping that same alignment. So that's my tips for the forward head position. 
and a couple correctional exercises you can do every day, every hour. It doesn't require any equipment and to start get your head into the correct position um, before it does more damage to you and can eventually lead to a lot of tension, pressure, achiness, pain, and actually do even worse damage to your spine in the future. Thanks for checking in. We'll see you later.